What's up, YouTube? As you can hear, it's a rainy day, so, and I'm outside. We're looking at some knives that have been on the channel. They're not the same knives, though. These are new knives. And getting them on the channel kind of, uh, kind of as my own farewell to these knives, really, really the brand. Um, OKC has been purchased by Blue Ridge, either knives or cutlery. I actually emailed them and asked what their plans were. And a nice man emailed back and said he can't tell me what the plans are. So, uh, yeah, he said it was because it wasn't official yet, but um, I mean, it is what it is. You're not gonna tell a random person what the plans are. So this is the SB10 Marine Raider Bowie. One of kind of the living legends from the OKC brand. And then this is the Marine Combat. This blade is basically a K-bar with a rubber handle. And this is an awesome knife with a rubber handle. Um, I, put, I got this from Bass Pro for I think $71. It arrived in like three days, super fast shipping. And then this is... Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Let me look. Yeah, you can. A little defect. Um, I have two of these now and two of these. This came in a blister pack. This came in the box. Um, I would encourage anybody watching this, if you haven't got one of these guys and you want one, um, I would go to Bass Pro or whatever distributor and get this. They're totally dried up from their store. They're no longer on Amazon. Um, you're gonna have to get it from a distributor that's not like a, a place you can find within two clicks. You're gonna have to click maybe four or five times. And then this one, um, if you don't have this guy, I would also get it. I, I got some comments, maybe uh, in the past I've said that you couldn't sharpen this. If you get it professionally done, I think you can. I just don't think that's really in the realm of something you're gonna be able to do yourself very easily. But hey, go for it. If you feel like doing it, do it. Um, but I really would very much encourage people to grab these before they totally dry up. Um, even at, I got the first one I got of these at 50, even at 70, it's a steal. They're made in America, they're awesome. And same with this thing. Um, I bought this when it was, I think, $35. Remember earlier in the year when I put these on blast, they were 27 shipped off of Amazon. Um, and I know a, a bunch of you guys bought multiples. And that makes me happy. You know, that's kind of why this channel exists uh, if you've been watching for a while, yeah, I do, you know, a lot of prepper type stuff, a lot of EDC, a lot of more shit hit the fan, um, WROL without rule of law type of philosophy, but it's very much about the knife, the knife reviews and, uh, started out watching knife reviews kind of from nothing fancy and branched off from there and you know, 2010, 2011. You can see these jet knives are very big. Carrying this today because uh, the Buck Light is an underappreciated knife. No wobble, very solid lockup. So, yeah, I would encourage everybody to go out, grab these guys. Um, they're not going to be around much longer these are already going okay first of all just don't buy things off youtube without actually looking for them elsewhere that's silly uh 
but these are already going for over a hundred. I've seen them at 120 on eBay. Not sure what these are going for. You're definitely going to want to grab a couple of these. I would get two of these. Um, the other bigger Bowies are also over a, basically over a hundred off of eBay and getting to like 70 upper eighties on Amazon. So go now. Both of these have defects, by the way, but like right here, I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Um, the thing is, is that they are so underpriced. The value of these guys is, is immense. And if you don't have something you want from OKC, you're probably too late <laughs> to get a really great deal. But these, like, I, I, they're probably still up at Bass Pro. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's dried up. I haven't checked. Um, go grab these. Get these guys now. They are going to dry up and kind of be a, a thing of uh, the forgotten past. Um, and the SP line is awesome. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I collect the SP line. I've got a number of them. Even the Quartermaster Bowie, uh, which is really tough. The Ranger, or not the Ranger, I have that too. But the SP uh, Parachutist. Um, I didn't throw that away, guys. I kept that after people commented that I shouldn't. I just kept it around. I might sell it, might give it away. In a, in a giveaway when I hit 1,000. But um, very, I, I, I am begging you, go get these while they're still around. All right, that's all she wrote for this one. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.